Okay. Hello. What's going on? That, that's way too loud. Hi. Let's see. Testing. One, two. Do one. Uh, um. Okay, there we go. Alright. That goes there. You come over here, because you are not audible. Okay. No, I'm not, but if you go to our audible... We're, we're back. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're still doing the White Tree Hollow. Did my fucking headphones... No. Oh, because I can hear myself in headphones. My laptop is a piece of shit. Have I mentioned that before? Alright. For reference, I just needed his leg, like, on my leg. We, uh, we, uh, our table's not great. Yeah. Nothing about anything is great. We're still fucking doing this. I, I, yeah, but I don't know how long this is gonna fucking take. I'm having a Ben Jerry's. I'm having a great time. I, I've had a stressful day of foster kittens. Because last time we streamed this, I didn't even have kittens to foster. Yeah. Really Some shit's gone down. In, and I got Rona. In the meantime. That's why we haven't streamed in forever. Shay got Rona, and then immediately, as soon as they were better, they're like, what if? What if we brought horrible infants into our house and took care of them for like a week? And I said, are you fucking insane? And then they did it anyway. I asked if it was okay with you to bring them home. Like, don't make it sound like I didn't ask, but I did. You did ask me. And I said no, and you said oh, please, and I was like, oh my god. Please, because they were a big new friend. Yeah, I know. That's the only reason they're here. Because even I'm not back to fucking picture of the screen. But holy shit, they're annoying. <laughs> I love them. But fan rule. They're all a little bit. The be worse. Because they're little fucking potatoes with knives for feet. Your knee is unusually cold. Thanks. From the rest of your body. Freaks me out. This is a constant for him. I don't know why Shay is so concerned. Because your knee is like 10 degrees cooler than your body. Yeah, hope everyone's doing good. It's been a while. We've straight up not shaved like two weeks because, God forbid, anything in life goes smoothly. It's a bumpy year this year, but hey, we're doing the best we can. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Not exactly happy with the way this entire Let's Play has turned out. But, it, it is what it is, I guess. We can always replay it. Sure. And what do you do not like about it other than the breaks we Like, just constantly. Like, we, I feel like it's con been constantly like shit's been getting in our way. Like, on top of just, like, you know, um, just in general, shit going on outside of it makes me feel like I haven't had the same kind of, like, energy I've had, like, other, the, like, other Pokemon games have done and everything. It's cool, I just want to blow my brains out. Oh, and last time... We had our uh, poll oh, about yeah. what to do next. Which, because we thought we were going to have like a whole month to fill instead of a couple of weeks. Right. So, um, October's coming up soon. I don't know if you're taking another game after this or if we're just going straight to October yet. We'll figure it out because like, I don't really want to do like two extra weeks of Spooktober.
but we'll see because I don't know how many more Pokemon trainers we even have left because I don't... It could be one, it could be five. It's not going to be five, it's just like I literally don't have a, um, a frame of reference for how long the rest of White Tree Hollow is going to take. What? I just bashed that spoon against my tooth. Oh. And it gave me bad, bad vibes <laughs> in my whole body. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. It, it, I think, at most, we have, like, three more cause episodes for Because I know the other shit we gotta do, and I'm not gonna lie, part of me is like, there's shit we can skip. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Because it's like important shit that I'm def I definitely want to do. But you know, this entire place is taking forever. Now, Bob, do you know the difference between male and female Gyarados? Uh, one has a dick. Besides that. No. Um, you see the... Oh, isn't it the trident on his head? No, well, may maybe actually, but the main thing is uh, the whiskers on the females are silver. Huh. It's like that on uh, Magikarp too, but it's been more noticeable with him. Fair. Yeah, yeah female Gyarados and Silver Whiskers. Maybe the crest, maybe the crest on the male is like a little bigger too. I wouldn't be surprised. Or whatever the fuck that is. He turns female. Oh boy, what a what a hint. You're not a woman. They're really assuming gender. Mm -hmm. Well, the chance that it's on down below, and I don't know if that means south or on like a lower floor, because now we have multiple floors to worry about in this hellhole. There was one cashier I confused once, and that was the most gender euphoria I think I've ever had in my life. Yeah. And they went with, with dude. <laughs> Well, dude is a pretty, like, neutral term to go with. Well, I just time. mean, like, masculine. Well, yeah, but, like, I think dude is just such a general term now. It doesn't bother me, but I do know there's something. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a whale. I thought that I don't know what Pokemon is, but your pet can walk over inside you. Hmm. And they had a Suicune on it first, and then they switched it to a Wailord, and it took up the entire fucking screen. It was probably a modded Brilliant Diamond. Because you can do that in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but the sizes are completely off. Yeah, and it was a size correction thing. Yeah, yeah, they modded it, because those games are terrible, and they need to be... The, the fucking community needs to make Pokemon games half decent nowadays. Yeah. Hi, hey, boys. How you doing? What's going on? This whale word in Oh, that's less than good. No. Give me a little bit. Oh! Gym plays for three. Nice, nice. Uh, that's good to tell me that that uh, was a fun time. I want to play Splatoon. I've actually never even played any of them. I've played, I played like a little bit of two. I played a little bit of Salmon Run multiplayer with Logan, actually. Yeah. But that's it. I, I really like Salmon Run and I kind of hate how it like wasn't always available. That was like something weird about Splatoon, how like some shit just isn't, is not allowed to play certain shit on certain days. Well, I mean, it's, you know, 
no, I don't. That's that seems really weird. It's like so it can switch out every day for different like areas. I, I guess, but it seems kind of seems like the way to pad it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, because we did not stamp. That's all I know. And Marina. <laughs> you know, Salmon Run and Marina. Yeah. <sighs> what? Nothing, Garrest. say it like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but I know the reason you remember her. He's bullying me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? He's bullying me. <laughs> It's not bullying if I'm correct. Yes, it is. <laughs> just because I can't see good without my glasses doesn't mean you can just go up to me calling me blind, small. <laughs> Nintendo's done an amazing job in Splatoon 3. They improved a lot about the game. That's good. Is Splatoon 3 something I could pick up as never playing Splatoon before? And understand and enjoy it, or is it like I don't think I have to do it in order? I I do not believe the plot is incredibly deep in Splatoon. Oh fucking no! You're just standing still, right? I found things in boat game. I'll show them off later. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I can go a different one. Right How you doing, muscle? I have to admit, I kind of, I don't hate this idea, but I kind of despise what, like, now that they're like, oh yeah, no, there's multiple floors to deal with, and they count as, like, the same area, because I feel like this is making it take so much longer. Game is a bit like, okay. Hang on. How's that? We're pretty much all the way up. You must be doing that on the game, especially the multiplayer. Okay, that's good. Good. All right, cool. Okay, it's a chick standing. St Please just be you, so I can move all of life. Oh my god. What is Beans doing? What is my horrible son up to now? Hi, bud. Yeah, sorry about I went When I was doing this, I went to go mute the desktop audio and actually turned it all the way fucking up. And then I was like, I think it was right about there. I don't like when she jiggles the egg in her couch. Why not? It's gross the animation. What do you mean? I just don't like it. The egg must move. Alright. Do you think they give them like fake eggs if there's like a gay couple? So they can take care of their egg. Uh, Kinda like penguins. I think Chansey just lays eggs like irregardless like a chicken. Boy chickens don't lay eggs. All Chanseys are girls. There's no such thing as a boy Chansey. Well, you gotta remember, in Pokemon, the baby's species is determined by the species of the mother. So as long as a Chansey just finds a male Pokemon in the same egg group as it, doesn't matter. And I think Chansey's in the field egg group, which is the largest one. It might not be in field. I might... hate the idea that Pokemon can breed with other Pokemon. Like, you could have, like, a whale lord and fucking... And Skitty, yeah. <clears throat> whale lord and Skitty are both in the field egg group. Waylord and Skitty are, are compatible with breeding. I... There's a whole comic about it. I hate this game. <laughs> I believe Diglett is also in the field egg group. Ugh. It's got three oh, feet, you know what that means. I think Diglett is just three... I don't know. They're Doug Trio, rather. Yeah. Um, what's another good one? 
Uh, Gardevoir is in the Amorphous Egg group, alongside Muck. <laughs> um, because of Gyarados, Magikarp is in the Dragon Egg group, meaning you can breed Magikarp with, like, a Salamence. Or, like, a, a Garchomp. Oh, I actually uh, did this one before. You can breed Garchomp with Rhydon, so you can hatch Rhyhorn eggs that will know Dragon Rush. Damn. And the animation for Dragon Rush is basically jumping into the air, lighting yourself on fire, and, and attacking your opponent at maximum speed. My gender. At least in the 3D games. Or maybe just kill it. Yeah, I know. Okay, they're female and they're standing still. What are you doing? Get get up. Get get up. Get up. Shay, get up. That was terrible. so much. <laughs> What's another oh, let's see, that's another good one. How about egg groups? I mean there's so many like just water and fish Pokemon that there's literally two egg groups. One is water one and the other is water two. That's so boring. some fish can breed with each other but not others. That's boring. Water one, water two. I think it's like one of them is like deep sea shit, and one of them is like the rest, I think. So then do deep sea and like. They added a lot of small stuff like badges you can unlock. Final Nintendo is opening up something like achievements. You can decorate your own locker with items and stickers. You can have Splatoon Turf War card game as well. You can also edit, edit what they call splat textures and backgrounds and titles. Huh. That's cool. I like, I like the idea that it's a fucking Splatoon card game, that's funny. Oh uh, yeah, Squint. Squint it. <laughs> Gwent actually slaps. Like, honestly, sometimes I would go on Witcher and that would be the first thing I'd do. It's like, alright, I'm gonna play some Gwent. No, god fucking damn it! Oh, you know what? This is another one. Uh, Nido Queen can't breed. There was a glitch in Gold Silver Crystal that made it so Nidorina and Nido Queen could not breed, but Nidoran female could. And because Game Freak is fucking weird and stupid, they're like, well, that's canon now, and you still to this day cannot breed Nido Queen or Nidorina. But you can breed Nidoran female. Which implies that their sexual fucking reproduction stops when they age, like immediately. Northwest, okay. Finally, some half use boy for information for fuck's sake. <laughs> and of course, I can't. There was someone standing. There was a girl standing still, though. Mm. I'm trying. Oh, there's a nurse down there, though. I should probably. Well, we can come back. Eep. Like, this isn't a bad idea, but this takes so fucking long. Man, I'm 
and it doesn't even look like he's turning. It just looks like his head is like spinning. What? Down in Wait, yes. was it? Did I not fight you? Maybe this isn't the way I want. Oh, thank fucking god. Damn. Cashmere. Oh lord, she got a warlord. She got a warlord. Oh lordy. Oh, lord. hmm. I'm wondering if he's gonna use Paris. Remember in, uh, I almost said Sword and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. There's that bug. He's talking about Evangeline. Yeah, the moon. Could you imagine if that was a warlord? <laughs> Why would it be Oh my beloved Evangeline! It's just like this big old warlord going like, Aah! across the sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know that's based off of some fucked up history of like a guy and Evangeline fell in love and they got separated and she became a nun nurse and then she nun found nurse. him on the day he was dying and she had to take care of him. I thought, it was, I thought it was just goofy. Ha ha, he loves the moon. No, it's referencing like actual fucked up history. <laughs> Thank you, dear, for the stunning commentary. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you think those are ears on top of his head? No, it's just fluff. Where are his ears? On the side of his head? Or you win, I give up. Okay. Yeah, no shit. I love all the new things to Tomb 3, but the thing that worries me is that they said they'll continue to do free updates for two years, which worries me. Are they planning after that? Are they trying to streamline with Tomb releasing a new game every two or three years? Because that's the case, I'll be fine with what they said. I mean, probably, right? Because I feel like a decent chunk of the reasons Splatoon got really popular and i'm not trying to say it's like disciplined or anything i feel like a good chunk of the reason why it got popular is because it had free updates for quite a while like it, you did like shit would just, you just get new shit shoveled in and that people love that shit because it's free shit you know what i mean it's not like paid dlc or anything and so people are like oh fuck yeah i bought the game once and now just more shit's getting shoveled in i think they just realized that that works yeah i hate it when games like just like so much DLC and it's like costs more than the game itself. It's like, yeah. then what am I buying? Yeah, literally. It's like Sims 4 is fun to play for like 24 hours and then never touch for like three months and then just repeat the process. Hmm. But it's like... I'd argue might be giving it too much credit, honestly. It's like the game itself was cheap and I got it on a Steam sale, but then I got the Cottage Core Edition, which is more than the game itself. Altogether, it was still cheaper than normally getting a brand new game. But it's like... But it's like, finish the fucking game. It's like, why it can't out. it just be, like, a more expensive game and then maybe a couple DLCs, you know? I literally I already walked past included. you. Why are you... No, I agree. Like, and I mean, you could even make the argument that, like, when Splatoon 1 came out, it, like, was not fucking finished. But, at the, like, if they're free updates, what's there to complain about? You know what I mean? Right. It's just, like, I hate it when games... Like, I don't mind buying DLC if it's a couple. Like, one or two. Like, Breath of the Wild did that well, in my opinion, because for people who wanted more and more, they could go with one DLC. For and for those of you who wanted, who wanted more collectibles... That, those of you who want to fucking hate yourself, you can play Trial of the Sword if you want. That was DLC, right? Am I yeah. stupid? Okay. And then if you'd like the collectibles, that would be on the other DLC. Like, I liked that, especially from, like, a Zelda perspective. Yeah. But I'm very much about both. Yeah, yeah. But it's, like, a couple DLCs is okay. But, like, don't put a whole other game's worth of shit and make me buy, like, seven different DLC packages. Yeah. If it's, like, one giant DLC, or on the very off chance, all the DLCs are actually good. You yeah. Know? But I feel like there's never been a game that has, like, more than, I don't know three DLCs where they're all good. The only exception to this is actually Witcher 3, though, because a lot of their DLC is free. I'm like, if you're gonna have a lot of DLC... Right. 
Or at least make a good portion of it free, which is what they did, and then they have two expansions. Yeah. And it's entirely worth it, by the way. Um, uh, DLC is weird. DLC is weird to me because I grew up with a lot of Nintendo shit, so like most games didn't have shit like that until like recently. Yeah. Um, so it's like, in my opinion, it's always sort of like, how do I put this? It annoys me when a game comes out and immediately they're like, pre-order the DLC. It's like, you could have just put that in the game. <laughs> Well, it's like, I get it from a marketing perspective, but I definitely feel like yeah. some developers, or not developers, some publishers definitely abuse yeah, 100%. the gamer's loyalty with the DLC when it doesn't need to be. Yeah. But free DLC, I think, is a lot different. Or if it's bullshit, like, costumes and shit, and I'm like, I, I don't... I love the free DLC costumes. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, when it's shit like that... Where it's like, I, I know I'm not missing anything, so like not buying it doesn't bother me. I'm like, yeah, make as much of that as you want, because I don't care. Yeah, or it's like, if you're going to do microtransactions... Don't. I hate that shit. <laughs> if it's you're like, going to do microtransactions, don't make a game. Yeah. It's like, I get it, haha, funny, like, I'm going to try and make money, and I understand that, but just... I understand Raise it. the price of the base game and put it in the game. Like, I, God damn. I understand it from the perspective of, like, the game is free and you need to, like, support it somehow. Like, something like Hearthstone or whatever. Like, something similar to that. Right. But, like, at that point, you need to make it not, like, fucking predatory. And they always make it, like, fucking right. predatory. Because it's always like, hey, the buy the microtransaction shit or you're basically never going to win. But that's half the reason why mobile games suck. Because yeah. you have microtransactions out the ass. Like, you're literally yeah. just trying to play the game. And then it's like, are, are you getting tired of the ads yet? Here's seven in a row. And yeah. if you want this it's one like, penny of free currency, you're going to watch a 45-second yeah. video. It's, and like, it's, not it's like, what's the point of me playing then? Like, this is a chore. Yeah. You know, I, I, exactly, exactly. Well, staying in the past day on the right decision. Damn right it was. Usually yeah. DLC comes out after a game release, like maybe months to if you're too unless you're an MMO or the Sims. Yeah, that's that's a thunderous. Well, yeah, Whoa. that's that's like a little different. But the thing that like bothers me is like the game comes or they announce the fucking game and they're immediately like, and you can also get DLC. It's like, bro, just just put it in the game. You're straight up just admitting, yeah, we came up with extra ideas, but we thought we could squeeze more cash out of you. Yeah, it's like there's a difference between a cash grab and then like maybe one or two DLCs. Yeah. I feel like that's an acceptable is one to two. I feel like it's like the exact number, honestly. Like, as I know I just made the joke earlier, like, I, no, there's not a single game more than three DLCs, that's good. But it's like, it's really not even an exact number thing. It's a matter of, like, what is even in it. You know, like, DLC needs to be, like, actual, like, either something small and very cheap, like a costume thing, or something actually worth a damn. Like Isaac. Isaac mm. has had several different updates. So. And it's arguable if any of them are good! Depends on your level of masochism. It was fucking arguable. I, mean, I, I played a lot of Isaac, and I still don't know to this day if I would say it's a good game. I really don't know if I would say Isaac is good. I think it is a good game, but it just needs patience. Yeah, but like, and I, feel like it requires, I feel like it requires a level of patience where most people are just going to play a different fucking game. Like, I like Isaac. I've put a lot of time into Isaac, and I've, I've definitely... You know, got my money's worth out of it, but like, it's I don't know if I would recommend it to other people. No, but I mean, like, it doesn't have a lot of paid DLC. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. Really? Yeah. Like Afterbirth, Rebirth, and that's all paid. Oh, so we just have like the mega version. Mm -hmm. And one does not work without like the like the late like the latest shit does not work unless you have all the other ones. So you can't just buy like the one you want either. If anything, I think a pretty bad example. Well, granted, the, the, those DLCs have a lot of content, and it's obviously very subjective if it's good or not. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe... But it's more like items, Yeah, right? it's like items and bosses and shit like that. It's just a matter of, like, every time they add something to Isaac, they kind of go out of the way to make it more bullshit, which is arguably less fun. You know? Granted, that might be part of the reason you like it, and blah, blah, blah. Please, tell me the next one is the last fucking one. 
No, no, wait, there was ten. Like, we looked it up, there was ten. What level are we on? I don't know. We completed our age. Oh, yeah, we'll be back in a second. Yeah. You guys listen to Splatoon 3 music? Uh, I listened to a little bit of it. I have not. I listened to a, a little bit of it. I don't remember, like, the names of anything or anything, though, so I'd have to, like, go and listen to it again to remember what the hell I even was listening to in the first place. Because <laughs> it was a hot minute ago. Ow. Everyone sick of this shit yet? Me too. Let's keep going. I'm back and I forgot my yarn. I'm gonna have to grab that underneath. You can you can go grab it now. You're not missing a damn thing. I promise you. We're on area nine, and there's there's one more after this, and that's the important one. So you you are free to grab your yarn now. This is just right in this room, it's fine. You guys ever see... Oh, he's doing more. You guys ever see... Speaking of DLC. Those, um... I think it's like... Is it Euro Truck Simulator? Or no, it's like some train simulator game. And it deadass has like $2,000 worth of DLC. Bruh. Like... Bruh. I don't... It uh, Mr. Tank Engine. Well, that's exactly what I think it is. I think it's like brands of trains and stuff, and it's like brand deals, so they're expensive, and there's like a hundred of them, you know? Listen, I like trains, man, but like, that's a lot. Yeah. Train sentiment idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a lucky year of tax returns. <laughs> yeah. Get your standing still. Sweet, another stupid hint that barely helps. Please, just be- no, you're not standing still, okay. This music is awful. It is, it, 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 it yeah, it's not helping. There is a prize at the end of this, and it's worth it, I promise. Is it? No. <laughs> well, maybe. Jameson is saying maybe, it probably is. I'll get this too. Probably. Um, I'm gonna go for a water move. Saitama's probably not gonna fucking take it anyway, because Saitama's a bitch. Watch him go for, like, dark things. Oh, dark things. For, uh, fucking. Uh. Crunch? Yep. Dark Fang. Listen, I remember the animation of this. That's my new Warrior Cats OC. Dark Fang. What do we, okay, at the risk of turning this into the last fucking stream where we rambled about horrible, just bullshit books and movies for like an hour and a half. Were the Warrior Cats books good? Yes. Like unironically yes. good? Or is it like if an adult tried to read them now, they'd be like, what the fuck? Unironically good. Okay. In fact, I'm considering reading them again. I'm thinking about bringing my Witcher books to me lunch with me at work and then I finish the things that worry about. I miss having time to read. Like, I love reading. Just pop on audiobooks on your way to work in the car. Yeah, but then I have to buy it. No, you don't. Everything is free on the internet. You don't want to walk. Besides, with how many fucking YouTube people, like, they're three months Audible. You could like, probably get free Audible for seven years just by going on YouTube it's, for 20 minutes. It's free for their books, but not every book. Most books that you are worth reading, you have to buy. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, that's fair. And it's like I bought The Hobbit and read through it on my, like, first two weeks of work, but then I couldn't read it. Right. Male standing still, male standing still, male standing still, male standing still, male standing still. Give me, give me a stroke. I'm so fucking tired, holy shit. Honestly, depending on how long this takes, I'm willing to just do White Tree Hollow and then wrap it the fuck up. Is that kind of standing still if he's turning? 
Because they're not moving technically. Oh, come here. Because uh, it's a fun fact, because we had to skip around so much, um, we're gonna also do a stream. We're gonna at least try to do a stream tomorrow. Yes. So, if this one. If this one ends up being a bit short, we can still probably get everything done in the next stream. Because I know we need to do it. And I am a touch more confident how long will that bullshit would um, Versus this, where I literally had no idea what we were doing to get into it. Because again, I've never done the Light Tree Hollow before. Um, can you guess why? Uh, the actual reason was because up until very recently, I thought this was one of those areas where, like, you needed, like, EV-trained Pokémon to get through it, basically. Which I kind of always skip in these Let's Plays because even with the ability to cheat getting EV-trained Pokémon, unless I should have just started using, like, PK hacks, is really annoying and not worth it. Um, if anyone wants to get into competitive, just play Pokémon Showdown. Please play Pokémon Showdown. Do not try to do this on cartridge. Play Pokémon Showdown. Um, it's, uh, but it is not. They're just really high level. Find it funny how this game just lets you catch the legendary trio from this game without any story. They just run up to you where you are, sat there, and wait for whatever you decide to catch. So, I mean, to be fair, the Swords of Justice are, are much more, uh, what's the word? Aux auxilar auxiliary? They're much more extra. Like, they're not, like, super important to they're just sort of there to be extra legendary. It's kind of like the birds in Gen 1. They don't really do anything. They're just rare Pokemon. Like, they have, like, backstory, but, you know. I scream. Same, Druid. Same. Why are you upset? What's, what's wrong, Druid? What's going on? Okay, now it of course it keeps in that's all. Last 15 minutes of my shift, I got spammed with back-to-back -back case pops for the same guy and he never answered the fucking phone any of the numbers he himself provided. Like, bro, well, it sounds like it's not your problem anymore. Yeah. That sounds like a him problem. I definitely have calls like that. They're fucking annoying. Or it's like people who keep calling back when their cell phone sucks. They're like, sorry, I'm going through a tunnel. It's like, then wait till you're out. Yeah. Remove yourself from the tunnel. How about getting into a place with good reception? Why would you why would you call tech support when you're driving anyway? So many people used to call while they were driving because they thought I could just fix it remotely. Instead of just actual troubleshooting. It was ridiculous. Not only insanely annoying, you're inconveniencing me and my customers and that need actual help by spamming my queue with your stupid. Oh my god. I remember this one particular customer. They called on a horrible cell phone and they were old. And then they're like, hey, call me on my house phone. And I called. Nothing happened. And then the next call I get is from a different number. And he's like, yeah, my door sensor just stopped working after like six years. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, no like, shit. He's like, you need to remotely fix this. I can't. And I was like, well, it requires a battery change. I can't remotely control it. And he flipped his shit. And then the phones cut out again because it was back to the shitty cell phone. Yeah. And then he tried to, like, reach at me. And I'm like, and he's like, you don't want to help, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, I've called you back four times. Yeah, I've, I've Like, if I didn't want to help, I wouldn't have called. Yeah. Down below. Okay, great. Number five and four. Why is this a Anyway, um, we're having hamburger helper. Decent. I don't even know what that is. You've know you you know what hamburger helper is. No. Like with the glove? Little glove what? mascot? 
Hamburger Helper. Used to make fun of my mom for making tuna helper. You know what hamburger helper is. No. Bro, you know what hamburger... What's in it? Like noodles and flavoring. And you mix it with like ground beef. Sometimes there's cheese. Question? I, I guess. Can you put it in a sandwich after? You could. I have. Well, of course you have. You're the sandwich master. No, it's literally like you take ground beef and there's like noodles and. Fucking. Do you have to boil it? Or do you just throw it in? Oh my god. Ham. Ham. I ignore Drew and being I, stupid. Drew, I am a tired mother who has been fostering four baby kittens and having to get up past three hours. Like every three hours. I'm tired. I can't process. I'm fucking googling hamburger helper for Shay. I've seen the box, I've never had that. Yeah, see, so you know what it is. I didn't realize that was a box. What do you think it was? It's kind of weird. It's like a hamburger helper. Damn. He's giving you a helping hand. With dinner. Ham Belfer burger. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that took all of my brain power. <laughs> I thought that the might for a minute. <laughs> it's fucking mac and cheese. Though. Yeah. So why not just mac and cheese? Because hamburger helper is incredibly cheap. So is mac and cheese. Yeah. Hey, is that cheap. all you're gonna say? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I've been really, really poor, but my mom, I know, used to just swear up and down. I don't know Oh, yeah, no, that's the fucking line you shouldn't cross. Uh, Eat roadkill instead. Oh, like, hamburger helper's really not even bad. I'm slightly bummed. How are you guys? Why are I'm, you bummed? I'm here. What's up, bud? Tell me your troubles. I'm more of a breast guy myself. I forgot my fork. Your one fork? This is going poorly. No! Mm. Chicken and waffles with coleslaw and butter maple syrup. That sounds so good. If it's chicken and waffles, just shove the chicken in the waffle. Put a little coleslaw on top of the pinkies, and then butter. Yeah, but then he still has to pick it up. You don't want to be picking up when it's like got maple syrup and shit on it. The hamburger helper is I can't be fucked making mac and cheese from scratch, but I want something better than craft dinner. Yeah, basically. I'm on a train. I'm not gonna do that here. Oh my God. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, if you like actually just had mac and cheese with you know, shit to make, like, with ground beef and, you know, all that shit. It would be way better. But, like, it's like Druid said, it's kind of like... It's just weird. It's like, it's not bad, but... I... Yeah, I've never had that. I do recognize the packaging, though. Yes, yeah, so you know what it is. So you have no idea what the fuck we were talking about. Well, like, I don't know. I recognize the box, but I'm not like, ooh, you open for a little food. Yeah, but you were acting like that was the first time you had ever heard of it. Well, like, I don't know what's in it. Babby. Well, you just told me, now I know, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I didn't know what was it's in it. It's called Hamburger Helper! What well, would you, no shit, what would you, you put assume hamburger it is? in it, but, like, what else is going in the hamburger? The helper? Yeah, what does that entail? Noodles. Yeah, I know that now, but it's like, oh, help the hamburger. Yeah. It's ominous. Hand is fucking Seasoning, milk, water, noodles, yeah. The hand, dude. Yeah, the entire glove. It's like the Pillsbury Doughboy who, when I was a child, I was like, oh, so they just kill little dough people and shove them in their cans. Yeah, and that's exactly how it works, actually. Oh, I swear to God, I already fucking fought you. <sighs> Tails just a little bit of help, a touch of help. Ooh, 
have... My meat is Jameson exclusive. We have the meat. What? <laughs> My meat. <laughs> it's an exclusive. My meat is just for you, baby. Awesome. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hugo commented me today and I felt weak to my core. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, if there's a cute god girl, I would ask you first. <laughs> You're lying. I would ask. They know a cute frog girl who has such hands. What does that mean? What does any of that sense? Oh, what did she you... give you a hand job or something? That's one hell of a compliment. Good old train handy. I mean, it's it, Kermit in a skirt it, to everybody. It works with my hero fan base. What? She had a frog hat on. Therefore, frog girl, huh, of course. That's awesome. No, get back over. Come here, you stupid. One well, of those green bucket hats and frog guys. Oh, oh, ah. I wanted to crochet one of those for the longest time. Why don't you? Because I am working on the blankets because it's getting old. Fair enough. So Shut. Mm -hmm. Heretic sure is shaped. He looks like Santa Claus over there. <laughs> With big punchy hands. He looks like Santa Claus as a bear. With big punchy hands. Her hat was cute and she said I did too. Aw, oh, damn. Why didn't you, you just immediately start members? making out? Whoa. <laughs> did we ever tell a story when we were in 8th grade at the aquarium? Yes, many, many, many times. Santa bear. I'm sure there's some kids move where Santa's a polar bear. I remember the first time he pants me. Better watch out, there's <laughs> no, you better watch out, you better watch out, there's no other warning, you better watch out, Santa bear is coming to town. I was working, no, I did not engage. Well, you should have. Damn, you should have risked getting fired to get some sweet frog girl action. <laughs> Um, the first time Jameson pants me. We could just not we tell were, the story. Like, first going out for probably like six months, and I was still awkward as hell because, mind you, we were twelve. And Jameson one day, no prompting, no nothing, just like yanked my pants down, saw my weird math underwear. Don't why, ask. Why were you wearing math underwear? I got a value pack of undies, and they didn't have any other cool patterns because my ass is fucking huge. So it had numbers on it. And then J the look on Jameson's face is like, why are you wearing math under? <laughs> I know I really do. Maybe I'll see her again if I work on her camp. But there you go. But I, I think about that sometimes. Just the look on your face of pure indulgence and then actual confusion. Yeah. I still don't know why I did that. No, it was very unprovoked. Like, I was literally making a sandwich or something, and, like, you just pulled my pants off. I'm like, hello? I panicked. You're very <laughs> And I was like, well, there's no other way to possibly express my feelings. I will just remove pants from the situation. Yeah! And then I'm like, I can just wear skirts, biped. <laughs> We should stop talking now. <laughs> because people don't funny story. people don't want to know this much about us. No, but it was so funny. <laughs> no, they don't, but they're gonna. Like twelve, and I'm like, of course you're gonna do that. You better watch out. You better not cry. Santa bears outside your backyard. <laughs> Santa bear has eaten your dog. You better watch out. You better not cry. Santa bears outside. Do you, think if, do you think if Santa was a sentient polar bear, people would finally stop writing creepy songs about fucking Santa? 
Yeah, I hate that about right? Christmas. Right? That's awful. It's like Santa, baby. Ugh, I hope that whoever wrote that is dead. Like, like, that's just fucking awful. It's like, listen, it's funny once. No, it isn't. It it's is. creepy it, and it, weird. It, it's funny He's once. a married man. No, Janice and different people would write songs about fucking Santa if he was a sentient bear. Yeah, but they probably wouldn't play furry music on the radio. <laughs> you better watch out. Favorite Christmas thing is are we the Grinch. Are we ignoring that? What? Look at this playback. Look at her name. Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> There's some mayo. Mayo. You want a fucking bet? <laughs> like it's. I'm all. About... I just don't get it because like Santa's literally just a fat old dude. Like who the no, fuck? No, but he brings you whatever you want. Yeah, if you're, you're seven. Santa explicitly does not give shit to adults. Remember that one time we were just like randomly like, let's find a weird part. <laughs> we found this Santa one. Hey babe, remember when I said 38 seconds ago, no one wants to know this much about us? No, it was really funny because he was like, what do you say? He was like, I'm going to cover whatever. No, he fucking, what he, was it? he fucking, the dude playing Santa picked up, like, two college girls at once and went, oh shit, and we're like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> That's what it was. Same people that no, write. made a joke about coming once a year. Please like, stop right talking. Like, right before he exploded. It was so funny. Bob, I am the begging you. The same people that write and drop that bastards get used to it. Santa Claus is the original fat bastard. Yeah, but Santa Claus doesn't cheat on his wife. Or does he? I don't think so. Maybe he needs to get a new wife every four years, I don't know. They're all Mrs. Claus. Hey, Shane! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Santa needs to get some ho ho somehow. You don't know that he's a lot of short stacks just doing his bidding. I unironically agree with you <laughs> on this. You just don't. Uh, no, I not Shut the fuck up. Listen, I'm tired. It's funny. What's another funny story? None. Without being We have no raunchy. stories. What? It's We're... been almost 11 years. Yeah, we've I almost just called you something very bad. Because <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> like, I would have been banished off Twitch. Shit, right. really out here of just calling me I slurs. I was gonna call you a really bad slur, actually. <laughs> Your T minus 14 days from spook time. Yep. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I had a dream about it last night. That's nice, dear. Got super famous for something. Made me nervous. So my birthday 14 days? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Happy Yoshi's gonna birthday, itch. You chicken waffle man. Yoshi's gonna itch. He's gonna feel the effects of time on his bones. You ever think bones. how weird it is to celebrate one year being closer to death? Now, back in the day when the mortality rate was like you were lucky to make it past eight years old, it was something worth celebrating. It's still worth celebrating. Are you kidding me? The world we live in today, everyone has suicidal ideation. That's fair. I feel like most people I know either don't give a shit about their birthday or actively don't like celebrating it. I like... I like parts of my birthday. Like, I like being acknowledged without anybody talking. Like, without me prompting anything, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like, oh my god, I'm being thought about, you know? Oh, and I mean, oh, sorry. oh no, you're good. I mean, of course, like, presents are fun or whatever, yeah. or like, food, you know? But I don't like it when people sing happy birthday to me, it's very embarrassing. No, I hate that even as a kid. I would tell everybody, listen, shut up. Just stop already. I haven't genuinely celebrated my birthday since high school. I don't celebrate mine, to be honest. If anyone tries to celebrate my birthday, I'll explode. And even then, I celebrated the fucking school trips. Does that count? I mean, last time I celebrated it was because my friends kidnapped me for it. Like, I mean, don't, like, I'll, like, you know, like, Shane, I'll usually do, like, something. But it's, like, yeah, it's not. Yeah, usually bake cake. It's never, like, a beat. Like, I don't care. Like, I literally. A decent amount of the time, I'm just depressed on my birthday. No real, like, particular connecting thread. My brain juices are just like, today is the day to be sad. You know how it is. Um. But 
go, like, I don't know, like, I'll do, we'll do, like, sh some shit, but, like, I haven't, I don't like parties or people or drinking, so, like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, doing birthday party shit as an adult, not really in the cards for old games and pixelated. I I'd rather, like, hang out with friends and get good food and, like, not make a huge deal about my birthday, but yeah. also just, like, just acknowledge it and move on. Well, yeah, yeah, because, I mean, Cause no one wants to be, like, forgotten or anything, weird. but it's, like... Well, it's, like, also I have this horrible self-esteem issue where I think everybody's just tolerating me out of pity. It's like, I don't truly feel like anybody actually likes me, even though you've been with me for literally a decade. I promise you. I'm always you, like, oh my god, he's just, he's like, he's just, and I know. I promise you, I do not feel pity. I, I know. Like, as an emotion. But it, I just, that's a horrible self-esteem thing I deal with, so whenever somebody brings something up like that, I'm like, oh, they thought of me? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Some up above. They just say he was down here. Nobody wants to be forgotten. I'd like to argue that, missile. What? Which is it? How many levels are there? There's only. T I thought there was only two still. One dude said he was below, and then that dude just said he was above. why but that made me think of something random mm. in the victorian era they would give bouquets of flowers to give passive aggressive messages to each other so different flowers would mean different things right i think that's great we should bring that back it's like oh you got me flowers thanks and meanwhile all the flowers are like go fuck yourself i do not own forget me not Oh my fucking god, there's three. So, I guess he's on the 14th. Holy shit, this sucks. I lied, this isn't worth it. Damn. Is for a Master Ball? No. It was just a Master Ball, like an extra Master Ball. I straight up would have not even considered doing this. Ooh, it doesn't matter, we're streaming. Oh, it's my guild. Yeah, fuck. We're talking about something. I want to talk about getting some bitches. Whoa. Most of them are married. I got it. No, like, one of them has, like, four kids. You can have four kids and not be married. You can have She's 20 kids. She's literally married, though. So. Yeah, well, maybe instead of having four kids and no money, she's driving no money and no kids and four money. That's not... <laughs> Sell them on the black market. Trade your child for trinkets. What? I can't. I'm so sorry. Well, we have to no finish... Wait, we, have, we have to finish this before we, we stop, because I'm not doing another stream. No, this. I know, I know. Like, we might not even take intermission, because I think we're I think we're close to the end. Yeah. I don't think he's made of wood. I would try to child for a trinket. Khajiit has kid if you have coin. Khajiit has child if you have coin. I don't like Polyrath's model in this. Why not? He just looks so... thick. Polyrath just kind of looks like that. Hey, random fucking question I just yeah. realized. Um, I'm sorry, everybody. I, I, I always bitch at Shay for talking about boring adult or streaming. Is the oven still on? <laughs> Do I go check that? No. Would you please I'm go? I'm fairly certain I shut it off. Okay. Okay, so he's on this floor. I feel like we would smell burning by now because the fish cake's still in there. Yeah. Why even waste energy selling a kid? Just throw him into a ditch? Because I want to get something out of the little cunt. Damn. I was like, I know you don't. Don't burn your house down again. No, it, it, I'm like 99.9% .9 certain it's off. Mm. 
gonna kill you, Drew. <sighs> Fine, I'll go check. Make me get Thank you, everybody. Shane was talking about cooking like before we started, and it like, occurred to me, I'm like, I didn't see them go to the oven. It's off. Was it already off? Yes. Alright then. I was right. You made me second guess myself. Like the co bags. Yeah, it's called gaslighting. <laughs> we have an electric stove. No, we don't. Stop lying. Yes, we do. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The obligatory. I thought that square would never leave. Ha, <laughs> because gas stole funny joke. I'm gonna purple nurple you. You fucking whore. Out here. Fuck Your off. Titties out. I'm wearing a shirt. You're being such a whore. Look at you. I am so desperately trying to finish this. <laughs> It's death a gas stove. No, it's it's not it's an electric stove. <laughs> I've been lit. gaslit so much my entire life, it's so bad. You get gaslit, fucking nerd. I remember one time my mom yelled at me for like something with the fridge. And I was like Why is your name Itachi? <laughs> oh my god. Because he's gonna Itachi these nips. Daddy! <laughs> Love me, please. I'm so lonely. Damn, she ain't choosing on the coal coke oven. No. Never finished this. Let's just play Black 2 forever. It's hard being a whore and playing Pokemon. I would use some points to temporarily redeem the emo, but I'm still trying to save for that holy grail of 420k. Understandable. Stop pinching me. Why? Because I'm trying You're to finish so this awful fucking game. I appease you. You my dad. You sort of. Oh my god, of course I didn't fucking kill. He's an electric. He, he did a. That's not an electric. Or an electro. A Galeka Devir. It's, it's him. It's him? <laughs> He's got three toes and four pinkies. It's him. <laughs> you just said that like so like it's him. It is. Oh. The boy. You could cut him into steaks. Don't. Because do he's like beefy, but also piggy. Then no trunk. That bothers me. Well he's, he's a He's a pig, I get it, but like he's also elephant. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna defend that by saying he's a woolly mammoth, but no, yeah, those have trunks. Uh huh? Yeah. You are a weirdo. Oh, okay. I'd def eat. I'd eat the fuck out of like eighty percent of Pokemon. Mammosign is what a scientist would draw if they only saw the skeleton. Yeah, honestly, you're right. Funny skeletons, like. I feel like. I feel like Mammoth Swine meat would be like ungodly tough. Like I don't think it'd be good. Oh, slow cook it though. Maybe. I mean, northwest. Okay. I think... Northeast. I, I know he said northwest, but there's, Kanye there's a West. nurse down somewhere around here. Wow. God, you know it'd be nice, like warp points or something, like checkpoints we can like travel between quickly was, in here. Was it? What was their gender? We were assuming. Male. I don't think it can be the nurses because they're like important for other shit. I would eat some Pokemon. We know you would, Titan. But we're talking about food. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite delicacy is onyx. Elephant meat is dense and fibrous, making it hard to chew. As a result, it tastes mildly of pork, but has a more robust flavor than beef or lamb because its muscles get less exercise. See, that sounds fucking awful. That sounds fucking inedible. Like dense, fibrous, fucking hard to chew meat. Fibrous is a weird word for 
Yeah. Oh, I love him. Yeah? Ludo, Ludo. Yeah, really? He's dancing. He's grooving. He's grooving. He gets me stand energy. I'd eat Mr. Mime. What, like, out of revenge? Oh my god. Your mother is an edible. <laughs> yeah, probably. She's been smoking for like 50 fucking years. I bet Ambor tastes fucking delicious, probably. Spicy. Pretty cooked. Actually, would it, would it even be... Fuck. Would it even be safe to eat most fire Pokemon? I don't know, Bab. They're not real. You were just talking about this five seconds ago. No, but it's like... I don't know certain types, like if you have a poison type, then you can get toxic. Definitely some poison type. Like you definitely can't eat like a muck. But like an Arbok, maybe. Right. No. Yeah, because it's just a snake. Just don't eat the poison glandy, you bit. You know? Because people eat snakes. I eat snakes. You eat you. Yeah. It's actually not bad. Snow actually tastes like bear. The fattiest bear you've ever had in your life. Snorlax also canonically eats like rotting garbage because it sort of can, so again, it might not be safe, depending on where I mean, it was raised. Bears can too, and the meat changes considerably if you have a bear that's scavenging in a city dwelling yeah. or a town dwelling versus the forest. Which variant of Arbok tastes the best? Uh, that's a good question. Got People it. eat poisonous things like popcorn. Yeah, but you have to like prepare them like a super specific way. I've always wanted to do that, but at the same time, if you get a tiny bit of it, the toxin on it, you die. Yeah, that's not worth it. Like, there's no you way. Know what I'm like, there's no. <laughs> like, there's no way in hell you can prepare a muck to be safe to eat. He's literally made of sludge and garbage. Oil. You just get dirty water. Oil. You, then there's no meat. It fixes. <laughs> you just get like dirty water. People eat the fuck out of snake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Arbok snake or snake is good. Like Arbok or Sabiper, Michael here would be delicious. I mean he's just a deer. Venison's dead. Venison is good. Fuck you. He's also part grass type and has plants growing out of him, so I think he would taste very earthy. He'd taste gamey. Mm. You know, I'm the one look I'm looking more deep than any of y'all. Fucking it's a pile I'm, of sludge with a face. You I'm cannot the eat that. I shouldn't I take that back. Like you cannot consume a muck. It is garbage. I think it's if garbage. you boiled him, strained him, and, and put him through cheesecloth, you might be able to get something edible. I don't think Maybe so. Maybe muck. It's covered in a muck, but there's just a little guy in there. There isn't, though. Is we edible. know for a fact there is not a little guy in there. I think you're like, not canonically, large enough. That dude's standing still. He's not moving at all from the left. Canonically, he is just a pile of sludge. Oh my god. He is just a pile of sludge with sentience because of, like, moon radiation or some shit. We can make the muck into a nice oil and cook with it. Now you see, that I might believe. Do not need to do. You could just press, like, press muck and it could be, like, extra version muck oil. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That was a great expression. I love that there's just a little boy in that sludge. Counterpoint, make it oil out of sunburn. I mean, like they would all scream seat. as they're about to get crushed. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, good. That's really fucked, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah sunburn just rubs up. Sunburn is cute, but also dumb. It's also terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's just sunflower. I didn't even know Glyscore Learn Counter, to be honest. Yeah, I know you are. Just take a woo woo, a little bit of sunken oil. Hey, uh, hey, Silver, how you doing? Hey. Did we cook Pokemon to get EXP for defeating it indefinitely? No, I don't think so. Because you didn't beat it in a fight. Oh, I mean, if you, like, killed it yourself, I guess. You get XP. Yeah, if you, like, killed- if you, like, went out and shot a fucking- Sawsbuck, sure, I guess. Did you get War Graham on yet? No, not yet. We're working on it. Um, but like, if you just bought like prepackaged, like Salandit meat, I don't know why. Why did I go with Salandit? Why Salandit? If you just went like Milk Tank. I don't know. Then like Spoinger or whatever his name is. Spoinky? 
Spoink. Spoink. Spoinger. <laughs> I was close. Tasty lizard. Okay, can get some branch and nurse joy. Is this post game? Yes, and it's not good. <laughs> this is this takes so much goddamn time. Male Salander are useless and should be. Uh, that's that's fair, actually. Male Salander can't evolve or anything, so. What about combs? Would you eat a bee? Eat the honey. Eat the honeycomb. The comb bee. He is the honeycomb. Yeah. Don't eat it. So male, <laughs> male comb bees could be part of the honey. They're production. important to the ecosystem. The Jerry Springer bee. Plenty of birds to eat too. Pigeons, chickens, ducks. Spoink aren't even hard to kill. Does one tell? More spoinks. That's true. If do you know that lore. No. So you know how Spoink goes My bouncy? My adorable laddie. Um, that keeps his heart beating. If Spoink does not bounce, its heart stops. Every bounce is boop, boop, boop. That makes his heart beat. It gets over it when it evolves in a grump pig, I think. That's awful. Yeah. Is Oddish a vegetable or a meat? It I, sure is. They're always a blueberry in my mind. I know that's not correct, but they're a blueberry, and they've always been blueberries since I was a kid. I think Oddish... They're, every Oddish that is mine is a blueberry. I think Oddish is mostly vegetable, because he's supposed to just be like a radish slash... Well, he evolves to... A Raphalesia, which is definitely not edible. Which is the... Corpse plant. flower. Yeah. Oddish is a radish. Shut the fuck up. Oddish is a blueberry. Roasted farfetch slash true. It's also a little garnish. Elite. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole joke. Magikarp, the best sushi. Magikarp has been explicitly stated to be completely inedible. It's like super bony and its scales are really hard. Ah, oh, so it's completely useless. I mean, Gyarados is right there. I don't know what fucking brave motherfucker is gonna go and hunt a Gyarados to eat, but I mean. I hope when I grow up I become a Gyarados instead of a Magikarp. I... okay. Oh my god, Michael, why can't you kill fucking anything? How do you know Rafflesias aren't edible? Have you eaten one? No, but they are literally giant gross flowers that intentionally smell like rotting flesh to attract flies to pollinate them. Druid. There's no shot eating that is a good idea. Druid, I see your sentence. It's just wrong. Stop looking stats or ass. No, he, his attack is good. I thought for a second I was going to say saw Starbucks. Can you imagine going to a Starbucks all run by saw Starbucks? I don't think that would help are you getting sleep talking shit on stream? No, more close. No, I'm just Which really. Which is why tired. I'm like trying to just finish this fucking I'm sorry. garbage I've area been already. I'm fostering kittens and having to get up every three fucking hours. And Jameson has helped. I'm just. I'm not caught up on something. No. No. God, no. This is just a really annoying after game area. I should do a Nuzlocke. No, you shouldn't. I should do a pixelated Nuzlocke one day. You really shouldn't. I really should. I don't think you would enjoy it even a little. Not at all, but that's why I do it on pixelated broadcast. As opposed to the other channels we'd be doing it on. I really do not think you would enjoy the process of doing a nose like at all. I think you underestimate me. No, I, think I, I would really don't. I do pretty okay. I'm not saying you wouldn't, like, complete it. I'm saying, like, I don't think you would enjoy the process of it at all. Nuzlocks are, like, a once-in-a-while thing for me in my, like, downtime, but, like, mm, nah. I really don't get those people that are like, oh yeah, that's like the only way to play Pokemon. It's like, no, that's kind of fucking miserable, actually. Where's the fucking elevator? Where's the 
wish they had a map or something. Yeah, right? Normalize me. Yeah, see, that was funny. What do you think Mewtwo would taste like? Bad. I feel like his tail would be good. Trust me, they suck. Maps are for squares. Yeah, no, Nuzlocke's are not. I mean, like, they're... they're they're a fun, like, skill test, I guess, if you want to call it that. Damn it. Um, they're a fun, like, skill test, if you want to call it that, although, like, eh. Nuzlocke's are only fun if completely random. Yeah, like, randomized Nuzlocke's are fun. Because then you, like, have no idea what's even going on. Alright, fuck this. I've had enough. And of course I landed with fucking Stone Edge. Can I request to turn the music down just a smidge? I've already turned it down like four times. I fuck it, I don't know how much quieter I can make it before it's completely inaudible. The music in here is loud as fuck and it grates like a motherfucker, so I, I'm sorry. Yeah, kill yourself. Not you, that stupid NPC. Why? Where is it? Why can't it just Isn't be- it up past her? No, we came from there, I think. Fucking whore. <laughs> oh my fucking god. We just lost. I'm not allowed to use items. Remember? Because this place sucks. Is that it? Oh my god, that's it. People are gonna train making us stop. This is fucking dumb. Yeah, this just sucks. Don't do this. What are they arguing about? Yeah, because this is fucking stupid. Like, there's no reason that this should take this fucking long. And it outspeeds us, so we literally can't beat this even if I reset.
that wall. Do you have quick claw? Mm, I cannot access my bag at all. Well, I mean, the quick claw I think is on Iron Man, but like. We could try this, I guess. We have technology. Can you not nurse heal? No, because we each nurse is once. If we don't hit it, we lose. Can you not move to a different floor to heal? No, we- no, we used all the nurses already. And the thing is, we can't really go look for more either, because we're gonna die in one hit to, like, everything we- if a trainer sees us. I have zero guilt about doing this, by the way. And you missed. Cool. And, of course, Ed manages to fucking hit. Neither do we, this is fucking stupid. Oh, come on! If only Michael was anything else. Yeah, I'm sure if Michael's a magic harp would be really swimming in fucking glory right now. Swimming in glory, huh? No, I wants it in. Yeah, no. They're only. They're once per. Normally in the game, it doesn't matter, but in this area specifically, they're once. You, you get one heal. Because Pokemon, this, this game's definitely trying to be like a roguelike for some reason now. Not good with roguelike, are you shitty one? Yeah. Zen Hitbuck can miss. It's not fucking gonna, but it could. Is it stab wound before times resisted? Yeah, but like, that's not the fucking problem right now. Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't worth it, we're done. We're done, this is not worth it. If you get to the end of this area and you fight Benga, who also has a bullshit team of, like, legendaries and shit, you get either a shiny Dratini or a shiny Gimel, depending on what version of the game you're playing. It's not worth it, both those shinies are terrible. Damn. That area is fucking horseshit and no one should ever play it. I'm sorry to have wasted all your time. Good night, everybody. Whoa, wait, what? We're done. We're done streaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. We were fucking- we were just gonna finish this area and move on because you're exhausted already. So I'm okay with not doing this anymore. What? Sad. Titan, this is all completely optional. No one cares. This is 
are we like done done with Pokemon? No, or? but we have other shit to do that's actually doable by a normal human being within like a day. So we're gonna finish this up tomorrow, pr probably. We'll, we'll finish the actual like shit that's worth doing, but fuck White Tree Hollow, it's not worth it. Good night, everybody.